I don't want to do it. I had to traverse through the hallowed tree. I had to swim across the Scarlet Rot Lake just to get here. And you know what? I've tried fighting her a few times and I can't even get her to phase two. I'm an absolute masochist and I'm trying to do this fight with no summons. But oh my gosh, if I'm stuck on this for any longer, I think I may resort to them. But at the same time, if she hits my summons once we get to phase two and she has the lifesteal move, doesn't that mean that hitting my summons will just replenish her health anyway? Regardless, this boss is an absolute nightmare. And even though I'm doing decent damage to her and she is like staggerable, if that's a word, it's, it's still just hard. That is why I'm deeming Millennia to be the real final boss of Elden Ring. Well, at least with Radagon, at least I could get him down, get to Elden Beast with no summons. Millennia, I can't even get through her phase one. Oh, this is gonna be a long episode. Speaking of episodes, the main Elden Ring series, like us going through the main quest, that just finished yesterday. Uh, if you wanna go watch the series or get caught up to speed, there's gonna be like a whole playlist on my channel. It's just called Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. I probably won't add any more videos to that since we did kind of finish that series technically and see the credits. So I think I'm going to make like a separate playlist for Elden Ring that will include the main series. But then I'll also add on like any other videos on top of that because there's going to be a lot of Elden Ring on this channel. Don't get me wrong. We're still going to play the other games that I promised. We're still going to hit Bloodborne, the Dark Souls DLC, Sekiro, all of that. Maybe even Demon Souls once I get a PS5. But ever since I beat Elden Ring the other night, I'm just, I'm an addict. I can't stop playing. I've been going through the world. I've been killing all the bosses that I missed, doing all the quests that I missed. Like, I I just, I can't help it. I'm addicted. I have max H. What the fuck? Holy shit. I have 60 vigor and this bitch just said, no. I'm giving myself two hours. If I can't beat this bitch or even get to her face two within two hours, I, I got other shit I want to do, man. Mine's claw. I just realized I haven't even been utilizing it, but never mind. I, I can't even hit that. Oh, sit the fuck down. And sit the- like, why does it keep missing? This bitch is too quick. I do realize I could get more flasks, and there's also some sacred tears that I missed yet. I might go adventure through the world and see if I can find any of those. Okay, now I, I, I'm learning it a little bit. Gonna die, ho. Oh, big flurry move. Oh, no. It's hard for me to know what move she's about to do. Like, she does- her telegraphs are all very similar. It's just like she goes up, does a long wind-up, and then she gets ready to completely kick your ass. Hans Claw Ho, sit your fucking ass down. Dude, that is so satisfying. Bitch, sit your ass down. I don't get it. Like, sometimes it- Sometimes it staggers her, but other times it doesn't. Like, what- why does it sometimes stagger her and other times it doesn't? Just from what I can tell, the Lion's Claw does so much damage that it should just be staggering her, like, indefinitely. Because even the first hit that I do, like, the very first hit that I land on her, it always staggers her. So I don't know if there's, like, maybe when she's in the middle of trying to do her animation, maybe her poise is higher. I haven't even attempted to use summons on this fight yet because I just, I... Well, first off, my ego is too high and I want to beat this bitch solo. But also, I just, I don't think it would be that helpful with her, like, lifesteal move. Because I'm pretty sure that that would be affected from it. I'm just gonna try to learn her moves. That was a bad idea. Like, I genuinely just want her to kick my ass so that I can figure out, like, how to dodge certain moves, the timings and such. I want to master this hoe. I want to be able to beat her, like, fists only without taking any damage. Like, every time I try, it just misses. Holy shit. I did, I did, like, I, with the lights, I didn't even touch your health bar. There probably won't even be any rage in this episode because, like, I know what I was signing up for when I tried to fight this, but I can't be mad at it. I'm doing this to myself right now. I wonder if I have any other, like, talismans that could help me, maybe, because I have a few. I never thought of that. Could I guard counter her, maybe? I I don't know if that's really a smart idea. I kind of want to try it, though. All right, let me try to catch her on one of her slower moves and maybe see if guard countering is something I could actually do. Maybe I could get, like, a better shield for it? Eh, it doesn't do that much damage. I'd be better off just lion clawing her. Oh, shit. Wait, you can stagger her like that? Put your ass down. Oh, shit. Okay, so when she goes when she goes up in the air to do the big thing, that's when I just I don't know run for my life. I'm going to destroy her. She is going to take my great sword all the way up her ass. I am determined to master this boss to a point to where I can beat her with a Guitar Hero controller. I will destroy her. All right, time for the new dude. Look how many blood stains are in this fucking arena. Do you see that? I thought that that was just like a lighting thing, but no, that is just blood stains from people dying in here. I kind of like this boss. I know that it's so weird for me to say considering I can't even get through her first phase, but like. 
I kind of like the Souls dance, you know what I mean? I like bosses like that, where they in enforce that old Souls dance style from, like, Dark Souls 1. Because some bosses in this game just feel like a mad dash to see who kills who first, but, like, bosses like this, it's like, who's gonna win? Like, take it slow, learn the moves. I keep forgetting to watch my stamina bar. It also doesn't help. My endurance is at, like, 30, while the rest of my stats are, like, 70, 60. I definitely should have upgraded endurance just a bit more than I did. Come on, ho, you ain't that bad. You ain't that bad. Put your ass down. Alright, come on, I have one more tear flask. I... Bad idea. Oh, flurry, flurry, flurry. God damn it, dude. I had her. Fuck. I don't even care about beating this boss. If I can just get through the first phase, get her, like, through that first health bar, I will feel accomplished. That is enough for me. I, I just... I... I don't even care about seeing Victory G today. If I can get through that first health bar, that in itself is an obstacle that I, that, that will be enough for me to at least live with myself for one more day until I can actually beat her. Okay, I'm getting better. I'm not good, but I'm getting better. So I just, I, 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 I can get this. I can totally do this. Flurry. How do you actually successfully evade that flurry attack? Do you just sprint halfway across the arena and hope she doesn't get you when she goes up in the air? I'm going to pop my wondrous physic. It doesn't give me too much more stamina, but I'm hoping it's enough to at least help. I also don't know what she's weak to. I'm assuming she's using bleed to do what she does. So maybe like anything else like fire maybe would be good against her. Shit, I wonder if she's resistant to sleep. Could you imagine putting her asleep and then just cheesing her with guts? All right, she's down. So can I, ah, shit. Why did I roll away? I'm too scared to even attack this bitch when she's completely vulnerable. If she's weak to fire, I might honestly put on that like one fire sweet move that I used at the beginning of the game. I can't even remember what it's called at this point, but the one where it like sends out a giant fire wave. Then at least I can keep my distance and just cheese her from afar. I'm doing whatever I have to to win at this point. Come on, we, we almost have our first phase down. That is that is all I care about right now. Just let me get the first phase done. You know, then I'll, then I'll at least be able to live with myself today. Oh, no, first phase. Please just let me get the first phase done. I... Damn. I am going to fucking destroy you. Just you wait. Item crafting, I mean, is there any poison pot? Could I stand from afar and just like poison let's see i mean i beat the game so at this point i don't really need any of the oh shit i have a lot of stuff i'm using okay maybe frost i have seven of those so if she's weak to that that would be really dope i'll put frost on my quick slots so then anytime that we run out of it i can just reapply it but if she's weak to that i mean that would be awesome right off the rip i kind of just want to line claw her to see what happens or or i can miss that that's completely okay too ah you don't gotta souffle my ass i can't tell if that does any more damage Maybe it does? I don't know. I don't even think so. If this bitch is weak to anything, please let me know. I just, I, I want to crush her so bad. She's down? Oh, shit, man. Why? She, she, like, she doesn't stay down for long. Like, when she's down on the ground, she does not stay there for long. So if you want to get a critical attack, you have to be, like, expecting it. I don't want to use summons, but I'm going to try it once just to see what happens. Because my goal right now, I just want to get through the first phase so that I can see what the second phase is all about. Because apparently I haven't seen shit yet. There we go. Eat it, ho. Okay, she's like totally aggro to my summons right now, so I'm just gonna cheese her from behind. Oh, wait. Nope, yup. That's what I was saying. Summons are completely useless in this fight. When she does the lifesteal move, it, like, even if she's attacking the summons, attacking summons does give her life back. So really, fighting this bitch, no summons, is the way to go. Honestly, I'm just gonna let her kill me. I mean, there's, yeah, I, I don't want to drag the fight out. I already know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get her down. She's gonna attack them. She's gonna get the life back. It's not worth it. It's good to know that I'm absolutely fucked. I really don't think Frost was doing shit, so maybe maybe holy damage because this bitch definitely ain't holy this bitch is satan out of all the girls i've ever taken out for a night on the town this bitch is the most evil all right i got the holy grease on does this do anything to you oh wow an extra 14 damage fun fact for anybody that didn't know this because everybody during my main series was yelling at me for having so much stuff in my quick equipment slot they're like well that's why you keep dying dude it takes you too long to flip back to your flasks Little do they know, my flasks is in my first slot. And even, it doesn't matter what other item I'm on, all you have to do is hold the down arrow and it will take you back to it immediately. Why? Like, every time I do the goddamn flip, it just, it misses her. I just accept death. I'm so tempted to go respec and then just come in here with a bunch of Kamehameha waves and just mage her ass to death. I'll do it all. The rock slings, the Kamehamehas, I'll do whatever I have to to win. I do not care. Larry and... Oh. You can't win that. You cannot. Like, when she flirt, like... Jolly cooperation? No. 
No golden signs anywhere. That's funny. Outside of every other single boss that I fought, there's always been a gold sign. Not here. I think everybody's just smart enough to know, like, you just, you don't go near Millennia. Like, why would you? The only people that fight Millennia, let alone, like, help other people fight Millennia for fun, are pure masochists. Oh, it's official. I am, wait, Elden Remembrance? I'm gonna go back to the roundtable hold real quick. I want to see what the weapons for Elden Beast Remembrance are. I'm telling you right now, that was the final boss of the game. If the final boss doesn't give me like an absolutely overpowered weapon with like maybe some of the abilities that that motherfucker had. Oh, do you know how nice it would be? That annoying sword attack that he does where he shoots like those yellow beams from the sky. Oh, I would kill to have that move. I forgot how messed up this place got by the end of the game. Poor little dung eater. Just sits here eating dung. Sad. Kind of feel bad for him. All right, I'm pretty sure this is the chick that I talked to. Yes, so I can either get the Sacred Relic Sword or America's Hammer. Gold Breaker and then Wave of Gold. How much does this cost? I need other stats like 24 Dex, 22 Faith. I'm pretty sure because I heard that one of Elden Beast's weapons is like overpowered as shit and works really well against Millennia. So this was going to be like my last ditch effort if I didn't have any luck against her. But it doesn't even seem like I can use it even if I would get it. I can't even use really any of these weapons. Their stats are all too high for me. Star Scourge Greatsword. I heard this one's pretty good, but I don't have enough intelligence. Alright, I guess I'll just throw myself back to the wolves. When I was told that Millennia could easily last like two or three episodes... I didn't think anybody was serious. Now I'm realizing just like how unprepared I was for this. I can't even find which one is Millennia's thing. I'll give it one last shot. Is is there anybody here? Jolly, <gasps> Jolly Cooperation? Meme? Uh, please help me. <laughs> Listen, Meme, you're an absolute soldier. I'm struggling. If we can do this, I'll be eternally grateful. He's waving. I have no idea how to emote. Even though I've beaten the game, I'm a noob. Let's go. All right, meme. Now just be prepared. You know, she's gonna have increased health. So I hope you're... Is he not coming in here? Are you coming in, sir? Okay. Oh, God, I thought I just got trolled so hard. Well, me... What the fuck did he just do? He just turned himself into like a... Like a Dragon Ball, like... He, he is the Dragon Ball. I have no idea what kind of builds you fools find on Elden Ring. This shit is just beyond me. Oh no, my fucking summon died. That means I'm gonna have to deal with her with inflated health now. Please, the first phase is almost done. I just, I want to get through the first phase. I just, I, that's all I, at, at least that. Just at least grant me that. Oh no, flurry attack, flurry attack, no. I give up, I give up, I'm... No, 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 no. Are you happy? Are you happy? <laughs> All jokes aside, I've been dreading fighting her because I knew exactly what I was in for. I mean, granted, if I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't have even made this video in the first place. But I mean, I don't want you requesting it. And I at least wanted to try fighting her just to be like, okay, I, I, I at least gave it a shot. But come on, dude, I can't even beat her first phase. If you guys have any tips or if I should try to reattempt her, which honestly, at this point, I don't really care. I already beat the main game. I beat the final boss. I proved myself. I'm fine. But if you guys really wanted to be taking another stab at this... I have no problem with that. I'll try to learn it. Anyway, as always, a shout out to the patrons, Carpus Fake Grandma, Lubity Tap, Big Daddy Maddie, Desperado, Chalupasaurus Rex, Razak, Polar, Ray Doe Webster, and Low Mouse Bianca. If you guys want the Elden Ring videos to continue, please let me know. Even though we finished the main series, like I said, I still have an itching for this game and I still really want to play it, so I will continue to play it. And don't worry, I promised other series like Bloodborne, Sekiro, Dark Souls DLC, we're still gonna be doing all of that, and you know, I still gotta buzz my head for the 1K thing. So don't worry, even if we do keep making Elden Ring content, I'll still be keeping my promises and doing the other things that I promised. Anyways, yeah. That's that. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Stay beautiful. I love you all. And remember, don't go hollow. Another tip of critical because technically I'm going to hit like hollow right now on this whole millennia fight, but that's different. Love you guys. Peace.